Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you a little bit of Python programming and uh, the first thing I want you to do is to go code.google.com slash edu slash languages and go to the Google's Python class. Also go in YouTube and search for Google's Python class and you will get seven videos all together. So after you watch those you will have a pretty solid start. So next go to hacktisite.org programming missions and their first mission is uh, an anagram solver so there's ten words that are scrambled they are scrambled words from a word list then 1300 words and you have 30 seconds to solve all ten of them and send them back to the mission in this format down here and that's what I created there is a CFG parser in Python already but because I only needed like six lines I figured it was much faster to create my own parser so I'm just gonna create a list that includes tuples, tuples for each item in this list so this is the first item in the tuple and this is the second for each of the configs and the final will be CFG dict that, that is dictionary returned by the CFG parser and I'm gonna create the dictionary by running a for loop for the list so each uh, each tuple will be a CFG and I will add them in the dictionary by adding the first item in the tuple as the key and the second item in the tuple as the value it will print a dictionary with the keywords and values listed in the config file. Alright, the main pro uh, program has two functions inside it, so they will be able to use its uh, variables. In uh, the the other thing is that I have CFGS up here that is defined as a global CFGS up down here and it's this dictionary returned by the CFG parser alright um, let's start breaking it from here so there's a response and content that will be returned by the HTTP request uh, the login URL in the um, configs was this and uh, it will just use the method of post and it will send the body as uh, URL encoded data and the data is his, this so this is my login information and these are from the config file the response this re uh, this uh, request returns a tuple again so tuple first item is response and the second item is content so we need to set the cookie so we will stay logged in and we can actually complete the mission so we set new keyword in the headers that is a cookie and its value is the set cookie keyword from the returned response and the response is dictionary so keyword set cookies in the response will be our headers cookie value okay and this here will just fetch the source code of the website of the mission so this content is now what we will be using in our parser so our parser what it does it returns a list there's a uh, an S or a list at the end of my variables so they are lists uh, so this will return scrambled words that is a list of the scrambled words the 10 words uh, in the hack this side website and uh, word list is a list of all those 1300 words in the word list.txt uh, 
scrambled string is just a nice string, comma separated string of the scrambled words that will be printed down here. Um, this will just be a placeholder for the string. So it's a percent sign S and it at the end uh, after the closing quote there is new person sign and then the variable we want to put in the placeholder up here not the n but the person s All right. so this will just print the, the scrambled words parsed from the mission where you will see at the end um, so in here we will get the uh, values for scrambled words and the word list from the parser and we set the content that was here as the content we want the parser to go through All right. the next is the unscrambler that will take these two inside it we will run the unscrambler in the solution back here solution is unscrambler s words word list and this will just return solution that is a string again a com comma separated string of solutions and what solutions is it's a list of words that were matched so for s word so scrambled word in the scrambled word list we set it in alphabetic order so it will be easy to match. So sort S word is sorted S word. Uh, while we are running this, we run another for loop inside this for loop. So now we are processing the word list. The, that is the text file of uh, word list.txt. So for for each word in that list, we will sort them in alphabetic order. And uh, because now these two words are in alphabetic order if they match the word will be appended to the solutions that is the empty, uh, currently empty dictionary and this was now a string of the dictionary that included the solutions and finally we will return the solution so here we will create the solution variable send as a body up here that will be actually our, our final answer so in the website the form we are dealing with is called submit form and the um, name for the field that we want to set the answer is solution so this will again be a dictionary that will be sent as URL encoded solution and then we will use the content once more to get the confirmation message and this will just be message between h2 tags followed by close and division sign and new division there, there is a message the confirmation message and it ends at um, less than sign br and finally we will print what the confirmation was uh, the confirmation is a list of tuples again we have to run a for loop for the confirmation so we get uh, the confirmation printed as the tuple first item and the tuple second item and in here we are just running the HDS read alright so let's write uh, let's run our program and we will get the result so that's it that was my program and now uh, I will be uploading it some file sharing site and I will provide the link and all the links that I showed you before and I hope you learned something because I learned something when I did this program and uh, that's it, thanks for watching.